few people have thought what's going to happen when robots replace 70 to 80 percent of the human workforce and it's not just robots it's also ai systems for many desk jobs for example even receptionists analysts office workers and so on will be replaced by ai systems even though they won't be physically robots they will still be you know automated machine systems so what happens when all these jobs get replaced the implications are quite catastrophic to society as we know it today in fact it's so catastrophic this is why the globalists have decided to roll out mass depopulation efforts because they don't want to deal with the 70 percent of the population or 80 percent that's unemployed and in fact obsolete see it's one thing to be temporarily unemployed it's a whole different thing to be obsolete where you have a massive segment of the population that is unemployable because the robots have already taken over taxi drivers even uber drivers will be obsolete you will not have humans driving ubers they'll just be automated systems deliveries right you know ups truck drivers fedex drivers long-haul truckers all obsolete within about two to three decades at the most and many other jobs warehouse workers already being replaced by robots in many many cases but agricultural workers as well and so you're going to see robots in almost every sector of society, which means you're going to have a whole lot of unemployed or unemployable people. I mean, ask yourself this question. What happens when over half the population rises up? Because they've got nothing. No jobs, no incomes, then essentially no food or housing. You now have a national emergency on your hands. And what does a nation do about that? Well, they're going to demand something you know they're going to demand a redistribution of the wealth basically they're going to demand a monthly stipend so they can eat and this is called the universal basic income ubi but what it really is is a way to prevent the masses from rising up as the jobs get replaced by robots they're always going to keep you in poverty if you live on the ubi so you'll never have enough money to get ahead or to have any savings you'll always be dependent on the government which means you'll keep voting for Democrats because Democrats will promise bigger and bigger handouts here. But it's really about making sure people don't riot. Importantly, they don't have any use for you other than your vote. So the only reason that they, the globalists, will want to keep humans alive is to have your vote. But most of the people will be obsolete and they'll find ways to get rid of you, especially as the UBI becomes overwhelmingly expensive for governments. Can the US government print up or borrow from the Fed $3 trillion a year and hand it out to people? Yeah, they could. But it would dilute, of course, the money supply and it would cause price inflation. Everything would get more and more expensive because you have more dollars chasing a limited supply of goods and services, right? Classic economics. So then you've got a population of people being given free money, but then complaining, well, everything's so expensive. A loaf of bread is $10. A gallon of gasoline is 20 So the government has to keep giving them more and more money to prevent the uprisings. And this is how Democrats will stay in power. It's a crazy system. Now, when robots are given personhood, once they become very lifelike, and once they can emulate humanity, then they're going to argue that robots should have personhood, which means robots will be given the rights of citizens, i.e. the right to vote. When that happens, the globalists have no more need for humans at all. So don't be surprised when that happens. For them, it's a money-saving effort. They don't need you. They don't want you. They don't need humanity much longer.